Hey, you're right, Monkey King here, bringing you a special review today. As you can see, this is the SH Figure Arts Shinken Gold Ranger, or in America, as he's called, Samurai Gold Ranger, or Gold Ranger Samurai, either way. This, believe it or not, I got this from Toys R Us, and it was about, it read about 34 for me. As you can see, I haven't opened it yet, because I was waiting for you. Not you, you. No, not, not you, you, no. You! You, the viewer! Waiting for you guys. I guess you could say this is kind of an, also a unboxing. But, the whole reason that they did this was because Bandai wanted to see, or Bandai of Japan, wanted to see how their figures would do in an American market. So, I'm just going to tell you right now, if you want more Japanese toys, or at least Bandai Japanese toys, go and buy this so that way we can get more. I don't have a problem, you know, ordering them offline, but shipping. Shipping's a pain. So to just straight up buy a Japanese figure off an American market for the Japanese price, not too bad. Alrighty, I'm loving this figure. So let's unbox him and let's keep this review going. And welcome back, everybody. Here we have Shiken Gold out already. And I'll just go ahead and say... I love it. As you can see, I've kind of got him in this um, kind of uh huh pose. But the detailing on this figure alone is very, very impressive. You have his little symbol, and then, uh, there it is. This is a court. Even take the emblem from this shirt and even put it on his cell phone. That just goes to show how much. The Japanese pay attention. It's even on his sword. I know it's a little hard to tell, but right there, this very same emblem is on his sword, and I don't know why he has a circle in his butt. As far as posability goes, he has a great range of posability. The weird thing about this is he has kind of a weird little shoulder. It's like it goes all the way through these, through the, well, of course, it goes all the way through. But sometimes the little shoulder pads are going to get caught, and that makes a really weird clicking sound. That, that makes me nervous. But other than that, you get the standard double-jointed knees, ankle rotation, and even foot articulation. Which is pretty good. As you can see behind him is his accessory account. And I'll take off the little plastic so you can actually see but he comes with a lot of accessories and I admit um, I didn't think he was going to come with this many I thought he since the box covers up kind of a bit I didn't see a lot the box ends up covering that much, so I could see a little bit of his hands, but I didn't see any of this down here, so I figured when they released this to America, they didn't include some of the accessories. No, they included all the accessories that come with the Japanese SH figure arts. So he comes with this little crab sword, which the detail in this figure again is the reason why I love Japanese toys you can see they even colored his eyes 
The detailing on his back is superb. They even get every little nook and cranny of his belly. And that is impressive. Though he isn't really... You can't really... Uh, I don't know if he's actually posable, but I can move his arm, and I don't know if I'm supposed to. It moves, but then, because I can hear something moving in there, but anyway, really neat little thing. And then he comes with this, his little octo. Technically, I don't know why, but in the American show they call it an octobot, when it's clearly a squid. His little uh, tentacles can spin around, which alone entertains me for hours. But again, the detailing in this figure is absolutely amazing. They even got the hidden disc on his back. They don't miss any of the paint sculpting in him either. It's like they took time and attention to get every little detail. You need to listen, America. Comes with his little lantern. Again, detailing in this is absolutely amazing. Look. See that little shine? They sculpted in the little divots to actually make it seem like it was a real paper lantern. That's impressive. And as you probably noticed, he has a sword on his back or his waist. But he also comes with it halfway opened. comes with it opened. It even comes with a sheet so you know you can pose him with like he's unsh you know actually having it out and everything. And then he comes with his little hidden disc which it's a sticker but still impressive detail which it can fit on to the little sword and the best part is it's on to all three. Ah, that's amazing. Then he comes with this thing. As I like to call it, well for his friends it's the high-fiving stick and for his enemies it's the pimp hand. Speaking of hands, he comes with quite a lot. Of course, you have the always closed fist, and some open fists, and he already has his rest hands, or I guess you could say, um, posing hands. Now it's like he smells something bad. Bad jokes all aside. Anyway. I don't really, honestly, I don't have a lot of complaints about him, other than his little shoulders. Hands are a little bit tricky, because almost they almost seem like a rubble tag joint, because they're little balls, but they're little pegs instead of slots. One thing to remember when changing out his hands is you don't want to wiggle them. You just kind of want to pull them straight because pulling them, wiggling them off is going to ruin that little joint inside his wrist, therefore breaking it, which you don't want to do because you want to keep this. It is an amazing figure. I'm just trying to get him 
set up and posed if he would. Okay, yeah, he's holding it. I'm just being derpy. Anyway. As I was saying, I don't really have a lot of complaints for this figure, mostly due to the fact that it's very, very impressive. I should also note that there's an added joint in his waist, is a thigh joint, which allows for possibly like, since they don't call it stands, you know, if you have a stand. You know, say you wanted to get him in a kicking pose, or just make him look taller. Of course, that looks a little silly. But that that joint is impressive, and I have to admit, pretty neat. It kind of gives him a little bit more. All in all. I don't really have a lot of complaints for this guy, only because it's a perfect 5 out of 5, I mean, even the Amer even Bandai of America probably knew that some people weren't going to understand this, so you know what they include? They included an instruction sheet. Okay, you sold me, because this way... People like me get the product that they want for without paying shipping and all that other crap. And American audiences who are fans of the show and want a better toy know exactly what to do. Bandai, you're doing it right. We want more of these. This is the Monkey King saying this. Shiken, Shiken, whatever, Samurai, this toy, I love it freaking five out of five so this is the monkey king saying review on